Hi, in this video, we're going to talk about if else statements in Delphi. And uh, I've got a label here and a button like we normally start with. And again, when I double click on the button, then what happens is, is it takes me to that section of code um, where we start to write our, our program. Um, so let's go ahead and talk about this. So if statements we use every day, even if you don't program. So um, you know what a good one would be, if I'm hungry, I'm going to get something to eat, right? And uh, the computer does the same thing. We tell it, if something happens, then do this, right? So if I'm hungry, then I'll get something to eat. Now, you can also have uh, conditions where that may not work, right? So if I'm hungry, you know, I would like to get something to eat. But if I'm on the phone or uh, I don't know if I'm still working or something, I may not be able to do that. And so we're going to put conditions in here. And we're going to use a lot of nuances to do this. But it's very straightforward because, again, we use that logic every day. So let's go ahead and get started. And we're going to use numbers to begin with. Um, so I'll say if, uh, and when I hit type if and press uh, space, then Delphi um, uh, automatically writes out this condition for me. So they have if, true, then. And we're going to start with this. But this is everything that we need, the logic we made this to happen. So again, if I'm hungry, right, and let's say I am, then that condition is true. And uh, if that is true, then do X. And that's what we're going to tell it now. So let's go ahead and say, you know what, if 3 is greater than 2, which is true, right, um, then what we're going to do is say, all right, uh, label 1, which we have there on the screen. Let's write the text in there. Uh, let's make it a, uh, equal. And this is an assignment in Delphi. Again, it's the colon and, and equal. So we're going to assign some text to this label. And let's put in there true. Right. This goes with our flow. And um, let's just leave it at this. Go ahead and run this. Okay. So we have um, 3 greater than 2, which is true. And since that is true, then we'll move the text um, to this button. Now, uh, this is very straightforward. We can, um, we can do some different things in here. So I could say if 3 is greater than or equal to 2. Oops. If 3 is greater than or equal to 2, then let's show true. And of course, that still works. That would work for anything two and above, because um, two is equal to that. If we want to show less than, uh, we can just flip this around. And we, if we want to show not equal to, so if three is not equal to two, then this is true. And this sounds funny, because we're saying not equal is true, um, but it, it's just saying that they're different. There we go. So three is not equal to two we made this two, then we wouldn't get anything, right? So nothing happened. So speaking of which, let's go ahead and look at the ne next statement because um, a conditional can be true or false. The if then statement can be true or false. If I'm hungry can be true or false. So let's say that um, we have a statement for true, but what if we wanted a statement for if uh, for that being false? So what I can do is go down here and type in else. Um, and then I can automatically give it another statement. Oh, label one is what we're doing. Text. Um, we're going to assign this to be, uh, I got to put this in here, false. And I cannot spell false. There we go. And now we can put this in here. So let's go ahead and see what happens. Okay. So here's our label. Here's our button. And it's false. So if 2 does not equal 2, um, then we have false. If 2 is different from 2, right, then we have false. And you know what? This has gotten kind of confusing when I look at it. So let's go ahead and change this back. If 3 is greater than 2, um, then true. Otherwise, it would be false. So in this case, it's going to do, it's going to print true. Let's go up to the var section because the numbers, you know what, they're easy to, to show. But let's do this with some variables. So if I go back up to the um, var section here, and um, let's say that I made an integer. Um, let's just call it a and b. That, that seems to be pretty good. Um, so I can say a 
integer and b integer. If you remember from one of the other videos uh, we discussed, again, I can't spell, if I could spell um, true. Uh, um, so we have to put our variable definition up here because we're defining a and b. Now when we click on the button, right, so let's say we want to assign a and b. So I can say a is equal to 3 and let's do b is equal to 4. And I'm messing this up. 3 is equal to 4. Okay. Now when we run this, uh, you know what, let's go ahead and change this out to a. So if a is greater than b, which is not, it would say true. And since a is not greater than b, it will skip down and execute this false statement. So let's go ahead and do this. And there we go, we have false. And so we started with something simple, if this, then that, and now we've added a condition for if that true, if that statement is not true. So let's do something else. What if we had uh, more uh, than, than, uh, than one condition, right? So what we've been talking about so far is if I'm hungry, that's either true or it's false. Um, but we could have times where, uh, you know, we don't know. It could be something else. So um, let's say if I have a C, let's just put this in here. And now we'll say, in this case, right, we have three different c combinations here. All right. Um, and I'm missing the actual equal signs. So we have if A is greater than B, which it's not, then we're going to tell it, uh, let's spell this out, A is greater than B. Um, you know, uh, we could also have this statement, and we're going to use else if. So now you can see that we can start having multiple conditions here. So let's say if if B is greater than C, then do something else. So we'll say label one text. Uh, here we go. And B is greater than C. All right. And in our else statement, we can say a and B are both are not uh, <laughs> I'm making this complex are not greater than I'm just gonna put this in here B or C I think you kind of get the uh, the gist here right we have a condition so it's gonna check to see if a is greater than B now what happens is if a is greater than B then everything else stops. We don't need to do these other checking uh, things. So if we had a daisy chain here of these, realize, uh, you know, this is going to affect the execution speed. Now what happens is if A is not greater than B, then it goes to the next else if statement in our case, right? And it will check all of these until it finds a true and then it just stops this whole series. So everything, the execution stops as, as soon as it finds the first true. If nothing is true in our case, right? Then we have our else, and this is if everything else is false, then this one's going to execute. So let's go ahead and run this. Let's see what we have. We click on this. Oh, let's change our label. I can't even see what that says. I can't see what it says. Move this out. We'll drop this down. Give us some space. Make this a little bit bigger. All right, let's run this one more time. It's got to be the last one. A and B are not great. Um, okay, so we had each statement um, execute. This was false. This was false, and so it ran our else statement. So knowing that this is false, let's go ahead and just change this around, and let's see. If we should get something else here. No pun intended. B is greater than two, and uh, it's actually less than. So there you go. We we've done an if statement, and. Um, We've done an this if else statement, and I can add in fifty if if I can add in fifty else if statements and keep putting these out to test for every condition. From a programming standpoint, 
there are different ways to do this and there's some that are more efficient than this and there's some that will you know they won't give you carpal tunnel syndrome syndrome if you type in else if 50 times so we'll show you another way to do that but for the meantime you know you can use your if statement you can use your if else statement and then you can have your else and this covers this section of it and the next video we're going to go over some other looping that we have so we'll we'll see you then have a good one